In this lesson, you will learn about advanced segments, what they are, how to use them, and how to create your own. Currently, what you are looking at is all visits within this report. Depending on what report you are on, it will show different visits. As an example, I am on organic search traffic now. And if I went to the paid report, it will be blank as pay-per-click traffic has never been used on this website. If I go to direct traffic, it will show me all visits within that traffic type. And if I go to referrals, the same. A lot of times, this gives you too much data to work with and it's too average, so the statistics may not really be as they appear. So you'll want to be able to segment the data even further so it's easy to understand and take action on. To solve this problem, we can use advanced segments. We'll go back to the organic search traffic report for this example and click on advanced segments. As you can see already, it's got quite a few of these default segments already, and I'll go through of them now so you can get some further understanding of how they work. Non bounce visits show only visits that didn't bounce, so they'll have a bounce rate of zero, obviously. Then you have visits from mobile traffic only, visits with transactions, which work if you've got an e commerce website, and visits with conversions, which we'll get a lot more into about conversions and goals later on in the course. Referral traffic. Now, as I'm in the organic search traffic report, if I selected this, it would show nothing, as advanced segments only segment data within the report that you're in. What would work here would be non bounce visits and all visits. If we click apply here, we can see what happens. On the data over time graph, you can clearly see the difference between the two segments. And there's a key at the top showing you which color corresponds to which segment. Also, you'll see two metric scorecards for both segments selected, showing the totals for each metric. Obviously, as I said before, non-bounce visits will have a bounce rate of 0%. And for every dimension, in this case keywords, the segments are also broken down. We can also use advanced segments on reports that show all the traffic. So I'll go into the sources slash all traffic report and show you an example from there. In advanced segments, we'll select search traffic, direct traffic, and referral traffic and click apply. Now we can see visits on the data over time graph segmented into their traffic types, rather than having it all totaled up together. Viewing it over a large period of time like this allows you to see some changes you might have missed out on before. For example, this here on the 9th of January, you can see a huge increase in direct traffic there. So you could then use the date selector tool to change the date closer to the time that this happened and see if you could find out exactly what happened on this date and why. If we change the view here, maybe we can see some more anomalies we wouldn't have seen with the day view. As you can see now, we can clearly see that referral traffic overtakes search traffic as the highest source of traffic. So you could then drill down even further, change the dates, etc., to find out why this happened. Many times you might want different segments to what is already offered by default. To do this, go back to the advanced segments tab and you'll see on the right custom segments. There are already two there in my account which I was able to get from a website called eConsultancy as Google Analytics allows you to share your settings so there might already be a custom segment created for your own needs so it's worth googling it if it's anything complex. In the previous video, we learned about filters and we filtered some of our keywords in the organic search traffic report. So we'll create a similar feature now with an advanced segment. We will create an advanced segment that only includes traffic that uses keywords with our brand terms to come to the website. So we will want to check the keywords report to see if there are any misspellings of your terms that you want to include. And then we can create the segment. Click on advanced segments, then on new custom segment. Name it. Now we select a dimension, in this case keyword, and we'll select matching regular expression. So we can use the pipe key as we did with filters in the previous lesson. You could also keep creating all statements to include all the keywords separately, and then select a different way to match your keywords, like containing or exactly matching, but this will take much longer. The difference between and and all statements is this and statements. So it has to be this and this and this and this, depending on how many statements you've got. An example of using an and statement could be if you created a segment of visits that spent X amount of time on the website and 
visited from search traffic. Whereas or statements mean it can be this or this. Back to the task at hand though. Now we'll put our brand terms in with the pipe character in between them. Make sure it's in set to include because we want it to show this traffic, not exclude it. More options allow you to choose which profiles in your Google Analytics account can use this segment. In this case, because it's customized to this profile, you probably only want it for one. And now we can preview this segment, which will show you on the report you're on, what the data will look like within this segment. And now, as you can see, all the traffic shown is just branded traffic. So it's looking like we got this segment right. You can also test the segment and it will show you the amount of visits that the conditions you've set match. Click on save and you're done. Now it will automatically switch this segment you've just created. So now we could do a comparison between just branded search traffic in the segment we've just created and all of it. Please note that the order in which you place the segments makes a difference. As you can see here, the scorecard is showing the metrics for all search traffic, but it isn't displayed here in the data table. That's because it's filtering the branded traffic first. There's an easy way to fix it though. You can just change the order easily here. And now you can see the other keywords also. There's a lot you can do with advanced segments and I've only just scratched the surface here. As you can share your advanced segment and learn from ones other people have created, I highly recommend you do some Googling to find out some advanced segments you can test out for yourself.